You're watching Chewing the Cud with Lee Robertson and Mike Benyon Rowe. And I said, if you've got it in my size, I'll take it, babes. Oh, that's what I've heard. Mm. Welcome to Chewing the Cud. Mike, what have you got for us today? Well, I've, I've been hoovering the internet. This hoovering week. it? Yeah, which is quite incidental because I've got a story about an accident I had while cleaning. Oh. On screen now, you can see our contact info. It's at the Cud TV on social media, where you can follow us, the Cud.tv for our website, and on YouTube or podcast service, look for Chewing the Cud and hit subscribe. And as names plod along the bottom of the screen, we brace ourselves for this week's showbiz with Lee. <laughs> Some very exciting stories today. Very exciting. Very, very, exciting. very exciting. Very exciting. Very exciting. Very exciting. So there's there's a, there's an end of an era happening. Oh. Yeah. So Rylan Clark, TV presenter, has said goodbye to his massive horse teeth. <laughs> what, he's had them all knocked out. Well, yeah. So, so gummy. <laughs> he's decided. So he had. So if you remember back in the day when he did um, that singing program X Factor, uh -huh. he. His teeth were were not as huge and white as they have been. Mm -hmm. So 2013, he had a full set of veneers inserted yep. into his gob. And they've always looked, well, Bit quite big. frankly, wrong. They're like massive white bricks in his face. So he's decided that after eight years, mm -hmm. it's time to have them replaced. Time to say goodbye, he's saying. Time to say goodbye to my teeth. Mm -hmm. New smile imminent. So we've got a picture here of his original teeth. Uh huh. Which is what, and, and if you remember, he was blonde for a while. He back did go in blonde the for day. a while. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, so he's so then he had them horsified, um, and had, then had them veneered. Then them veneered. I, <sighs> that's all I'm going to say. Um, <laughs> <laughs> mm. Mm. Um, so yeah, he's had them removed, but we don't know what he's had them replaced with. It could mm. be anything. He could have. He could have been for something very similar. It could be, or perhaps something a little smaller. Because mm. you do have to. When you have veneers, you have to have them replaced. Oh, do you have? have like so many years they kind yeah. of wear down, and you've got to. I know they file your teeth to teeny weeny pegs mm -hmm. underneath. Um, so yeah, so he's posted a picture of him post procedure, mm. looking quite swollen on his okay. social media, but he hasn't revealed um, what is underneath. Yet, yeah, he's, uh, he's 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 got he's done a good job of hiding most of his face there, hasn't he? He's got he's got a flare, hasn't he? The sun, yeah. It's it's like when, yeah, I'm swollen. Don't look at me What would I like to see him, you know, with his hair done, maybe? With his hair done? Yeah, done hair. Okay, I think with Rylan, I mean, he's he's a secret ginger. Mm -hmm. He hides it and he's always hidden it because he doesn't want to be a ginger. <laughs> Why not? Gingers are brilliant. I, yeah, I don't see any problem with it. Um, and I think perhaps I wonder if this is the stage of he's kind of going back to nature. <laughs> back to nature, we're releasing him to the releasing wild. Releasing sort of like <laughs> taking all the false stuff off. Because uh -huh. um, his hair is jet black. It That's not a colour that exists in nature. <laughs> um, Apart from a blackbird. Oh, yeah. So yeah. So he's 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 he's. We've just got to we've just got to look and wait and find mm -hmm. out. It's so exciting, isn't it? That yeah, I was going to say. I've still got this image of. In my head, of being being released. Yeah, like, run, run, celebrities they like a veneer, don't they? Mm -hmm. They like to, it's like, uh, and they're never subtle. No. they're always like, boing. Okay. Ronan Keating, he had his teeth done. Mm -hmm. Shergar, Nicola from Girls Aloud, mm -hmm. Tombstones. Um, <laughs> it's they don't ever seem to go for like subtle. See, I, I'd, I'd get mine done if I could afford twenty five thousand pounds. They're not cost. cheap. They're not cheap. No. And quite painful to have done, I believe. Mm -hmm. And as... It's still going to happen. If I get the money, if I win the lottery, I'm still getting them done. I, I just... Just wait till they fall out and have fake <laughs> false teeth. <laughs> yeah. Those little tattered teeth you get from... Like, yeah, clacky ones. No, no, no. Little wine ones. Yeah, that'd be, yeah, that's absolutely fine. Trixie Mattel had um, veneers put in, mm -hmm. um, but she didn't have bottoms, and that makes it look odd, because if your bottom teeth don't match your top teeth... Mm, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I have perfect teeth, so I mean, that's why I'm allowed to say um, <laughs> myself. So we, we will wait with bated breath to see what his new gnashes look like. Yeah. And what if he... Perhaps he donated the old ones to somebody else. Somebody <laughs> who was more neat. 
<laughs> to a horse farm, maybe. Yeah. Or Shane McGowan oh. from the Pogues. It's coming up to Christmas time. Perhaps he needs those teeth because he's not he's not the most dentally <laughs> challenged. Or somebody else like that. Yeah. So if you if if you if you, <laughs> if, if, if you are in receipt of Ryland's teeth, please let us know. Um, <laughs> that's random. <laughs> Just ask people to send in old body parts from celebrities. No, yeah, if they've donated a part of them and you've got it, <laughs> then let us know. That's a feature in itself. It's like, it's a, it's a full-on <laughs> Sunday news Who's feature. nail clippings are these? Yeah. Ryland gave me his teeth and now my mouth's haunted. That kind of stuff. <laughs> that, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah. Um, so, next bit of showbiz news. Now, a celebrity who's announced their engagement. Oh. So, Kristen Stewart, the actress, mm -hmm. never was a massive fan of her. No. I have to say, she always looked as miserable as sin. Okay. Perhaps that was because of life circumstances mm -hmm. and how she was living and she didn't feel particularly very happy. But she has recently announced that she is now engaged mm -hmm. to her fiance. We've got pictures yeah. of them here looking all very loved up and, and, and lovely. It's um, nice that she's engaged to her fiance rather than a random woman down the street. Yeah, just some, <laughs> some, some cashier behind the till at yeah. Aldi. Ah, will you marry me? Yes. Um, so, so, she's, so she's described it. So she went on a, um, a radio show uh -huh. and she described it that it wasn't specific at all. Um, it, it's not, she, she kind of said it, it wasn't, I mean, it's not very sort of confidence one. It's not, it wasn't a given that this would be the one. So she's referring to her as this, <laughs> this would be the one. Okay. Um, you, know, you know what I mean? No. Um, with two girls, you never know who's going to fulfil that weird effing gender thing. That's what she was saying. I think it's about the, the gender. It's who thing. says, yeah. it's who asks who. And I suppose the same with, with gay marriage, gay engagements. Who's going to, who's going to... I've never had that issue, Lee. Never had never? That, that thought process of going, hmm, should I propose or should they? Oh. Would you like them down on all fours? Down on one knee is the joke there. <laughs> oh, <right? okay>. um, <laughs> if I'm getting married and they've already been on all fours. A nice ring. Yes. Yes. Um, Get down on your knees and ask if you can slip a ring on your finger. Okay. Uh, and then would you marry me? <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, yeah, so she's. She hasn't really said who proposed to who or whether they just had like a mutual conversation and said, shall we get married? Um, she said, the day that, that I met her, was the best of all. She said, I knew that when I saw her, um, she, she, you know, she was gonna be the one. Okay. Um, so they live in, they're living in LA. Um, yeah, so all lovely for her. The, her, her girlfriend, her fiance, mm -hmm. is, um, is, is also a writer and an actress, and she's been in films like Moxie. Not really familiar with that. Um, um, Rock Bottom. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, Bottom. But yeah, um, and um, so yeah, they look very loved up. Kristen is currently starring in, as Princess Diana in Diana the film. So yeah, so she's currently starring in um, that. Okay. Um, and is getting quite good reviews for it. Is it? I, I, I heard some really horrible reviews for it. Did you? Saying it wasn't really very Diana-ish at all. Well, I haven't seen it, so I can't comment. Some people, people that I friends that have been seeing it loved it. Mm -hmm. um, so you know. Whatever. Well, yeah, it's good. Good for her that she's got engaged. Yeah, lovely. And and if it makes her happy, because she was miserable for a long time. I still can't forgive her for being in the Twilight films and being miserable in the. Tw tw That's. I think that was the part she had to play, though. No. I think I read I those think... books. You know how some people are Harry Potter fans and some people were Twilight fans. Yeah. Harry Potter get in the bin. Twilight. Hello. I I was the tw tw Twilight Tweet Twiler. <gasps> <laughs> um, I agree with that version. <laughs> yes. Um, <laughs> so uh, if you like Twilight, apparently, according to Lee, you're a massive. <laughs> I was a Twilight fan, so I was very excited, very excited when the films came out. Went to see them and was like, "What's this about?" It's about a boy that goes, I'm, I'm a vampire, stay dark. Because they sparkle. It was just, it was just pants. And she was miserable. In the book, her character, Belle, mm. is really feisty and really kind of sort of girl power. In the film, she's just not, yeah, I'm just, just, uh, um, yeah. So I wasn't massively keen on, on that. So I, I okay. cannot forgive her. You can't forgive her for destroying her. For the rest of her life, we'll never forgive her. No, no, not we, you. Um, yeah, we. No, no, not we. All the tw all the. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> I've never been able to forgive her. So she hasn't set a date. Okay. She hasn't said when she's going to get married. So we don't know whether she's going to be an autumn bride. No, we have an autumn bride. An autumn bride. Usually it's summer, isn't it? That is oh no, I'd peak. want to be an autumn bride. You want to be an autumn bride. I want to be an autumn bride. Do you? Yeah. No one's proposed, but I know what I want. Have you, are you one of these people that's got planned your wedding? I've planned my wedding and my funeral. And your funeral. Yeah. Is that the two going to happen simultaneously? Well, <laughs> at this rate, yes. <laughs> <laughs> at this rate, I'm going to be going down the aisle in a coffin. Okay. So, so what is what is your what is your wedding? Well, we wedding's going to be autumn. Lots of white, because you know. Because <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah. I can't wear white, but I'm going to. Um, just, just pristine, clean, lots of browns. And... Pristine and clean and brown. <laughs> that sounds great. Well, that's it for the showbiz news this week. We look forward to your, your nuptials whenever. Thanks, Lou. Um, I look forward to finding someone to just have a, for a second date. You're totally welcome, Mike. But stick around as next, it's Mike in the Buzz. You're watching Chewing the Cud with Liam and Mike. Now it's time to go over to Mike with the buzz. How up are you on your current trends? Well, as I, you know, well, the way I'm dressed, Mike, clearly 1989. <laughs> so, <laughs> to be fair, it does look like a Picasso. Yeah, no, work of art. Work of art. Da, 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 work of art. Um, so, I was refer cultural referencing then, Jamie, what? the musical. Oh, okay. There you go. Anyway. I can't do it. I can't do what? The bit flicky thing of the... Just like your <laughs> off a ghost. <laughs> 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 anyway, um, so have you heard about yarsifying? I have heard about that, yes. I have oh. been doing it. You've been yarsifying? Yes. Yars. <laughs> Not yes. Yars. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Have you heard about the yarsify bot? Is it on Twitter? It's on Twitter, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's on Twitter. Okay, hand. Um, <laughs> I, yes, I have seen it. Yeah, do you follow it? No. No, good. Because I, I've, I've been following it. Okay. And they've been doing celebrities. Ooh. Which, you know, I thought it's technically your remit, so. Yeah. Wait for but it'll the... be in the next week, it'll be over. That's the, that's the nature of things like that. Oh, no, it's, it's, it's a good thing. It was popular for about a week, massively. And then yeah. as people are fickle, We'll move on to something else. Oh, okay. So it's all over the place. Hmm. Yeah. It's very, very popular. People are sliding into DMs to send over pictures and stuff, which is unusual because normally DM pictures are peni. 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 Can you can you arsify your peni? You can indeed. I bet you you've <laughs> tried. You've done it, haven't you? <laughs> Maybe once or twice. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we've got some celebrity pictures. Oh, okay. Celebrity arsify. Arsify. Okay. Um, so they've got the first one. Which is the 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 <laughs> Ellen? Um, and what they've done here is they've not taken a, a very good picture of no, her. No, they they They've got oh, she's got bloodshot eyes and she's obviously upset. Just like a zombie. Yeah, and yarsified her. Okay. And then she looks like a, one of those blow up sex dolls. <laughs> <laughs> you know those living dolls. Yeah. Yeah. A fembot. Yeah. You have yeah. to do it like a couple of times, don't you, to get the full effect. You do. Mm. Yeah. How many times have you been doing it? Well, I did it. I did, I'm in a, a, a group, um, a, a, a social group, and I yassified everybody in the social group. Whether they wanted to be or not. Whether they wanted to be or not. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, I was I was an attractive woman, as I am an attractive man. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, you want to see some more slabs? Go for it. Have you yassified yourself? I've not yassified myself. Oh. No. Why? Oh, it would be funny. You don't want to see this justified. It didn't work well. Did it not work well, it did Mike? Not work well. Okay. Um, like, look like look like this one, which is Gollum from Lord oh. of the Rings. Has been yassified. Has been yassified. Okay. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah. That. Yeah. It's got the big blue eyes, which is good. Yeah. 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 It's odd, isn't it? It's a yeah. strange thing. Yeah. Mm. Cool. So yeah, there's loads more out there. So go on Twitter, find it. Hmm. Yeah, go for it. But there. don't don't feel bad if you actually don't look like that in real life, because well, it's just a thing, isn't it's it? It's just a thing of people just going, "Oh, I'm beautiful. Oh, I'm beautiful. Oh, it's so mm. beautiful." Yeah. If you yeah. if you want to look like a sex doll, that's then fine. then go for then it. Go yeah. for it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we've got Henry Carvel, the future ex-husband of mine. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then the the Oof. love of everyone's life, 
No, that's not good. I keep wanting to call him Jeremy Corbyn, but it's not yeah. Jeremy Corbyn. Mm. It's James Corden. Yeah. So, yeah. Not even that can help him. No. Mm. Still made me angry. Yeah. But, yeah. Shall we move on away from, from Jeremy Corden? Yes, far Jeremy away. Corden. James Corden. James Corden. James Corden. James Corden. This is why I don't do the celebrity. Mm. The show yeah, because I don't know who they are. Um, the President of the US. Yes. Yeah. Man or woman? Um, I would say, because he's called Joe Biden and I've seen pictures of him, I would say a man. Have they ever had a female president? Um, no, I don't That's think so. That's not true. That's not true, That's not eh? true, yeah. Ooh. Um, this is one of those weird things about American politics. Uh, because Joe Biden had a, a small procedure done. He had a colonoscopy. Oh, yeah, I know that. Yeah. I've had a colonoscopy. <laughs> um, <laughs> but he needed it for medical reasons, Lee. I'll just go around going, give me a colonoscopy, please. <laughs> um, so, yes, I know this. So he's, he's given his um, role. So while he was under sedation, mm. he has to relinquish power. Oh. And that becomes the vice president, becomes president. So okay. Camilla Harris. Yes. Yeah. Was the first female president of the US. While Joe Biden had a camera shoved up his Well, yeah. <laughs> Both winners. Both winners. So <laughs> for like winners. the 20 minutes that he had it done, was she like running around the White House going, I'm the president. <laughs> Get rid of that. She's not Trump. Oh, <laughs> I would do that. 20 minutes of being a prime minister or president, I would do all sorts. <laughs> what would you do? Just things. <laughs> Rules. Rules. Laws. Laws. All happen, 20 minutes. Uh, well, like, give me, give me a, a law. Um, yeah. Ooh, those 20 minutes would go very well, wouldn't they? <laughs> yeah, just amazing look, like, yeah. Like, everyone must wear one seat. Everyone. That's... Lipo, <laughs> just for me. <laughs> Suck everything out of me that has to be injected. <laughs> yeah. Yes. 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 <laughs> Give it to the poor. Give it to the poor. <laughs> so, yeah, quite. Um, and if you want to interact with us on social media, it's at the Could TV. Our website is thecud.tv. And don't forget, YouTube, we're under Chewing the Cud. And now we're going to our story of the week. Cleaning. Mm. Is it safe to do cleaning at home? Is it safe? Is it safe to do cleaning at home? Well, it depends what you're doing and how you're doing it and what you're using. Ex explain. You know, if you're using, like, harsh chemicals, then you mm -hmm. must open the window so you don't okay. suffocate yourself. <laughs> and not do it naked. Not do it naked. Yeah. Um, remember that the Hoover vacuum is for the floor. And, and only the and floor. Cushions. Well, yes. Yeah. It's not for your own personal use. Well, it's for my personal use because I'm vacuuming with Your own personal use. You know, watching. Pop your hand in. Oh, you mean a sucky him. sucky for yeah. the Hoover. Yeah. People have come a cropper. Of <laughs> That's why Henry always looks slightly startled. <laughs> um, <laughs> but no, this is a, a story about a gentleman from Wales. Okay. Right, who decided to help, well, was told by his fiance to help her clean mm -hmm. for the first time at the age of 26. Oh. Tripped over the vacuum cleaner, mm -hmm. fell down the stairs and broke his legs. <laughs> Did he though? Yes. Did he do it on purpose? Well, here's the thing. She thought that it was just joking about and set, okay. trying to get out of it. So it was there going, no, get up, come on. Stop stop acting the goat. Get out, do the cleaning. Um, it, she tried to lift him up. And as he stood, he fell back to the floor because he couldn't stand the pain. Uh -oh. um, ambulances were called. Mm. And they said, oh, yes, it's definitely done, done some damage there, but we can't get him out because the way he'd fallen. OK. And so the fire brigade had to be called. How had he fallen? I mean, it was a small space that he'd fallen into. Okay. And so he was stuck. So the only way they could get him out of the, the way okay. was to remove windows. That's embarrassing, isn't it? Yeah. Was he a large it's not a, It's not a large gentleman. Okay. He just fell it, awkwardly. He just fell awkwardly. This, this, this is all smacking to me of insurance. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Just You don't just... get money for broken legs. I reckon if you investigated, she probably took out a massive life insurance policy <laughs> on him. <laughs> what? Just in case of breaking bones? Just in case of breaking bones uh, uh, while Hoover vacuuming and... Hoover vacuuming? <laughs> Hoover <laughs> vacuuming. <laughs> and coincidentally, he tri tripped up. Mm. He was vacuuming on his own. Well, where was she then? Huh? She was downstairs doing all the cleaning. Oh, OK. So, yeah, conveniently, she was in another room. Yeah, she has alibi. Yeah, OK. Yeah. Whatever. So they had to, to take his windows out. To get him out. To get him out. Yeah, take him to hospital. Took him to hospital, confirmed he'd had two broken bones. Two in broken. Leg. In one leg or in either leg? In one leg. leg. Oh, right, okay. Two in one. Unlucky. Yeah. 
I'm lucky the lazy get. <laughs> Not perhaps, do it, yeah. <laughs> perhaps if he'd have cleaned a little bit sooner, mm -hmm. he wouldn't be in that predicament. Oh, uh, yeah. Or, or, or used a cordless vacuum, or mm. just not falling down the stairs. Mm. I mean, how would you fall down the stairs when vacuuming? <laughs> <laughs> no words from me then. <laughs> <laughs> just a lot just, of... I don't just, know. Right. Like, depends what he was doing, I reckon. You think he was... Just, <laughs> yeah, I reckon he was having a little jiggy jig. Do you know when you just like, had teenagers that were like gave themselves love bites with a vacuum cleaner? Yeah. Yeah, like you did. Because <laughs> you can tell from the way you went, yeah, not going any further. Is that like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do, would that happen if you did a. Well, if you stuck your, your, your penis in a, in a vacuum, vacuum so no. would it give it. Would it go black and brown? Like a love bite? I don't know, Mike. Next week, get back to us on that. Okay, well, maybe an idea for that science, that is. Yeah. Um, but that's all from this week. Well, thank you for that, Mike. That's very informative. I'm going to be taking my Hoover out for a romantic date this weekend. Stick around, because coming up, we have a Game of the Week. You're watching Chewing the Cod. This week, we are playing Uza Kazoo. And this one is for Fartface over there. So off you fart, Fartface. Far off into the distance. I'll leave one behind me. Oh. Game of the week. The rules are quite simple. All Mike has to do is sing a tune that I will be able to recognise through a kazoo. Are you ready, Mike? Uh -huh, uh -huh. I think that means he's ready. I'm holding this like a pipe this week. Just thought I'd share that with you. Thank you. Ooh. Oh, I know it, I know it. Oh, I haven't got a buzzer. Ding! I think it is Black Adder. No. No, it is. It is Black Addy, you're right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Let's have another mic. <laughs> it, that would be the Adams family. It is the Adams family. Well done. I know. I'm not messing around this week. I'm going to get, oh, get every single one. <laughs> <laughs> you ready for this one then? Sesame Street. It is. <laughs> You're doing very well at this this week. Have you seen these cards? Nope. I'm just on fire. Shuffle them. Fire. Shuffle them. Oh no, I don't know this one. <laughs> oh, I pressed it, but I don't know it. Um is it is it is it a theme tune? It is a theme tune. A televisual show that was popular in the 1990s on a Saturday evening. Oh. Why am I talking like an old woman? Is it cheer? Is it cheers? It's not cheers, no. It was big break. Oh, we'll never have got that. No. Didn't watch it. That's also because I've shuffled. Pile shuffled, of old tat. Shuffled, shuffled the cards and suddenly you can't do it anymore. No. <laughs> <laughs> Let's, let's go on, go for it, go for another one. I 
kind of recognise it, but I can't, I'm not getting it. Is it a theme tune again? Um, surprise, surprise. It's the theme tune from Friends. That isn't sounding nothing like the theme tune. <laughs> No. No. Like you've been there before. I'll no. Be there. Well, you just say nope for. Nope. Doesn't, doesn't sound like it. Therefore, that doesn't count. Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> Beauty and the Beast? Yeah. That'd be... <laughs> ...is what you were doing. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's the X-Files theme tune. Oh. Uh, not so keen on this game anymore. Oh, no. It's amazing, since I've shuffled the cards, <laughs> I'm not getting any of them right. <laughs> Coincidence. Or because I've foiled your plan. <laughs> that would be the theme tune to Blue Peter. It is, you're right. Well done. Well done, me. Yeah. Done, me. <laughs> Staying Alive by the Bee Gees. It's Umbrella by Rihanna. Nothing like it. <laughs> Absolutely nothing like it. I started like at it. the chorus as well. I didn't even start off with the... Nothing the... like it. I don't know what you're hearing, but it's not what I'm hearing. <laughs> I'm hearing the voice in my head say something <laughs> to you. Okay. <laughs> Is it is it the Pink Panther theme tune? <laughs> no. Is it? I can't get no satisfaction. It is I can't get no Rolling Stones. Yes, it is. Well done. Oh, there we go. Oh, dear. Written by the same people as the Pink Panther theme tune. Was it? Yeah, that's why I got confused. Oh, okay. Mm. Very similar. <laughs> Old MacDonald had a farm. Yes, well done. Woo! Those are the easy ones. <laughs> <laughs> That would be Celine Dijon Mustard mm -hmm. with the theme tune from the Titanic, My Farts Will Go On. The hot dog goes on. The hot dog goes the on. The hot dog goes on. Yeah, that's what it sounds like when she sings it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Was it right there? It was right, yeah, well done. There you go. Waltz and Matilda. Da 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 da. Waltz and Matilda. It was. Waltz and Matilda. It was. Was it? Yeah. 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 Picked up new cards. One second. Did you just watch Skippy? They played that at the end of the of Skippy, the episodes of Skippy the Bush Kangaroo. Skippy. I'll say that one more time. Skippy. My mum's dog is called Skippy. You've got a what? My mum's dog is called Skippy. The kangaroo. No, it's a dog. Okay, yeah, you but I said say. my mum's dog is a kangaroo. <laughs> my mum's kangaroo <laughs> is called Skippy. I don't know, it was one of those situations where she thought she got a dog, but it was really something else. But everybody no. has to say, oh, no, it's a dog, when clearly it's a giraffe or something. I don't know. Once again, kangaroos are very different to giraffes. They've all got legs, Mike. Okay. <laughs> Is 
Is it the theme from nope. The Love Boat? No. Nope. Is it the theme from The Love Boat? I can't live. Nothing like it. Absolutely nothing like it. There's a rage in me when that happens. When, <laughs> when you can't get something right. When it doesn't right. sound anything like it. That doesn't sound anything like Ken Lee. <laughs> it's not Ken Lee, it's I can't live with or without you or whatever. Ken Lee, you're living this without you. That one. I don't know. Something. Uh, oh, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. It is. It is. Is it by Nirvana? Let me entertain. No. <laughs> Let me entertain you. Let me Which is by entertain you. <laughs> 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 is it somewhat, somewhat, it is by Nirvana, but it just goes, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I was doing, and you were going, what? Well, you just going, da, 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 da. Entertain was... you. See, got it right. <laughs> That's not the lyrics, but it smells like teen spirit. Oh, does it? Yes. Right, let's, let's see if we can get another one. <laughs> I know it straight away. Yesterday. By someone. This today. It was Beatles. By the Beatles. Yeah, you're right. Beatles. Well yeah. That was great. I did really well on that. Mm. Anyway, after this quick break, it's that science that is. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. Now it's that part of the show where we go over to Mike and that science that is. That science that is. How do you feel pressure, Lee? How do I feel pressure? How do you feel pressure? Every single second of the day, bearing down on me like a dark cloud. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Um, did you know that you can use pressure to tell the weather? Oh, okay. Yeah. Not that kind of pressure. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Bariatric pressure. pressure. Bariat. Oh. Oh. When did you get words? I don't know. It was just floating around in my head. Oh, well. So, what instrument uses bariatric pressure, Lee? A trombone. You were doing so well. I give and then I take it away. <laughs> you take away and then take <laughs> away a bit more just in case. Um, so a barometer. Oh. Yeah. Um, so before weather channels, you used to have to look, check your barometer. Do you own a barometer? No. You do now because I've given you the accoutrement to make a barometer. Oh. Yeah. So first thing we're going to do is we need to make a diaphragm. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay. So you should have a, an inflatable rubber device. I do. Or balloon. It's a very large balloon. It is, isn't it? But what we need to do is we need to make a diaphragm for it. So what you need to do first of all is cut off its tip and its tail. Its tip and its tail. Its tip and its tail. Now the problem with cutting through a balloon I think it depends if you've got sharp scissors. It does. Sharp scissors are helpful. Okay. Do you manage to get through? Yep. The top and the tail? Yep. 
So you should now have a tube of, of rubber. Mm. I have a problem with my scissors not being very sharp. Mm. Yeah, there we go. Okay, now you've got a tube of rubber. Mm. You need to make it into a sheet of rubber. A sheet. So the way you're going to do that is you're going to just cut down the side. Cut down the side, oh, cut okay. Once again, this does help if you've got sharp scissors. <laughs> so you should now have a, a stretchable membrane. I do. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the top of our jar. Mm -hmm. What did you just do? Nothing. Do it, do it again. Mm. Do you need a moment? Leah's just invented the dental dam, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> so what we need to do is we need to stretch this over our jar that we've got here. Okay. Okay. So get it nice and stretched over. So you got it, once you've got it on, you need to get it really tight, so it's mm -hmm. nice and firm, like a drum. It is like a drum. Okay, and now we need to stop it, because there's, there's tension there, so we need mm. to stop it from pinging off. Okay. We do that by applying some rubber bands around it to create a seal. How many rubber bands? Just a couple till you're, you're, till you're sure it's oh. secure. It's a bit dexterily. It's, it's a challenge. Didn't say it was easy, I said it was science. So I'm going to go for three to make sure I've got a good, good seal. Oh, so you've got a couple of bands on? Yeah, I'm just I'm just tightening out the the hymen. Oh, okay. What I need to do is hold that, then. Okay. Right. Okay. Okay, and so to make sure you need to make sure it's tight, so you can just give it a bit of a. It does that, Mike. So yours is actually tied to the mine. Oh, I know uh, that's saying something, isn't it? What's saying something, Lee? Well, mine is tighter than yours. Yeah, well, I'm surprised yours can stretch. So what this has done is this is this has trapped some air inside the jar. Oh. And as the pressure of the air um, goes higher and lower, it's a pressure differential in there. Okay. So as the air pressure out here drops, this will inflate. Okay. Yeah, because it will try and fill fill the void. Oh. Right, and vice versa. So we need now to have an indication of what's happening there. Yeah. So we need to be able to see when it's rising and falling. We'll just look at it. But it, it'll be very small details, so oh. you won't be able to tell. Okay. If it's if it's ballooned or not. So you need an indicator. So you should have a paper clip. I do. And I want you to outstretch the paper clip. So it is a, a, a pointing device. Outstretch it what? So it's a... So it's, it's a, a, a pointy thing. Okay. Okay. That's, that's the S shape at the moment there, Lee. Oh, you want it completely flat? I want it as a point, so stretch it out so it's a pointing device. So it's just a sticky thing. Okay. Okay. Now the temptation is to poke this through the drum, but you don't want to do that. No. No, you want to attach it to the surface. Mm-hmm. Okay, so all we're going to do is with a little bit of, 
little bit of adhesive sellotape. Adhesive sellotape? Adhesive sellotape. That's always the best. It's always the best. I, I, <laughs> um, and we're just going to stick it to the, the, the membrane of the drummy thing. Okay. Okay. So we should oh, have some sellotape. Across, sell it, horizontally. Um, so, it's, so it's like that. So I'm just going to get some sellotape. No from health and safety is watching, that's fine. Okay, I'm just going to stick. There we go. Okay. Let me just... Sellotape applied. Lovely. Now, what will happen now is if this increases or decreases, yeah, the pointy device will just rise and fall. But we want it to, to vary in different different uh, degrees. Mm -hmm. So we need to make it pivot. So we need another bit of tape. About... Just on the edge. The edge of what? Of the, of the rim. Oh. The edge of glory. You're not Lady Gaga. Of, on the, over the stick, over the metal thing. Over the paper clip we've just done for okay, yeah, right. touching the membrane. Yeah. Okay. Because what will then happen is, is this, as the membrane in, sort of like goes up and down, the tip will move up and down. See? You're making it do that. Yeah, because I'm not changing the pressure because I'm not weather. Oh, okay. I'm just demonstrating the fact that when this goes up and down, it will move this end. Okay. Might put a bit more fellow tape on. Okay. Well, well that is, what does that tell me then? So if this, this end is sticking up, yeah. yeah, it means that the air pressure is high. What does that so it's mean? It's going to be good weather. Okay. Okay. And if it's pointing down, it means the air pressure is low, so it's going to be poo weather. Okay. So yeah, it's, it's slightly feels anticlimax there, but you know, whatever. I'm sorry, it's anticlimactic, but that's science, that is. That's science, that is. See? And it also makes a charming little noise. But what's happened to mine? You stroked it too much, haven't you? Do you know what that means? It's raining man! That's almost the end of the show for this week. Remember to join us on our social media at The Could TV. Our website is thecud.tv and of course on YouTube and podcasts. Just search for Chewing The Cud. Thank you for watching and we'll see you again soon. Bye. Bye. Like a little darling. It's like, it's like an exterminate, exterminate. <laughs>